This VRX Company Workbench video is about the compatibility of the VR2004 text inserter on the Gilbarco Passport point of sale terminal when interfacing the text inserter to the customer poll display. The issues covered in this video are specific to the Passport. In this video, I'm going to show you the two configuration choices the end user has when using the text inserter and the Passport to lead you to the best compatibility. I will show you how to change the settings in both the Passport Terminal and the VR2004 text inserter. These two choices are for two lines of inserted text like the customer poll display and all lines. It is the end user who must choose the mode they like and want to use. Although our text inserter can insert up to 12 lines of text coming down over the video, we ship our text inserter set up for the two line poll mode, which more fully duplicates the behavior of the actual poll display for the initial install on the Passport. The reason we do this is to prevent the time of day and scrolling messages sent between transactions when the terminal is idle from covering the video, which many users would not want. Let me show you. And first, we'll watch the poll display in action. I don't actually have a Passport terminal, but with my computer I will simulate a terminal and demonstrate the customer display showing the date and scrolling messages. Alright, so I push this and here on the, po on, the on the poll display we see the time of day and a scrolling welcome message. Let's simulate some item transactions. Here we go. We get item description and then something like quantity and price and each item as it's rung up shows one after another. When the transaction finishes then we go back to that scrolling message. Let me see if I can simulate it again. Here we go. Okay. Now that you've seen the poll display behavior it's time to add the text inserter. I shall split the data going to the poll display and using materials in our kit show you how the text inserter is installed. This cable here is connected to my computer and this simulates the passport terminal. I've disconnected the poll display and using the splitter cable in our kit I'm going to split the signal. The poll display connects into one of the two pigtails and off of the second we use these DB9 to RJ45 adapters. One of them will plug in here and in the actual install you'll use a customer or installer supplied long CAT5 cable or Ethernet cable to go from wherever the point of sale system is back to the back office where the DVR and text inserter are likely to be. For purposes of this video since everything is close together I can get by with a very short cable. And then the second RJ45, the DB9 adapter. I plug this into the serial input on the text inserter. Okay, let's see that transaction data once again. And we will start with the time of day and welcome message. You can see up here on the top of the video the uh, inserted text that shows the welcome and the scrolling uh, the, the message. All right, let's do the item transactions. And here we go. We get item description, quantity and price. Item description, quantity and price. And when the transaction finishes, we'll go back to that scrolling message. like this. Okay. Customers often want more inserted text, so I will change the text inserter so that it uses the maximum of 12 lines. To do this, you'll need the tip of a pen, a toothpick, or in my case, half a Q-tip. We'll push the recessed blue button, SW1, and looking at the video output on a monitor, we will navigate the resulting menu. A quick push moves us from one item to another, and by pushing and holding three seconds, we can enter a menu. 
I want to get down to the display mode right here. So I do a series of quick pushes and then to change the display mode I push and hold for three seconds and push and hold for three more seconds until we get to the all lines. Now to save the changes I do quick pushes until I get to save and exit and then push and hold for three seconds. Back at the main menu a series of quick pushes brings me down to the exit, push and hold for three seconds to exit to normal operation. Now let's see those simulated transaction again. Here we go with the items. I guess it's, it's the scrolling message. All right, here we go. And you can see how this stuff comes down the screen covering up the video. We wouldn't want that, but of course if we look at the scrolling uh, transactions, we can see why we want this. And that is we get um, uh, item description and price, item description and price, which is very nice for loss prevention. So for full compatibility, you'll want to turn off that time of day and scrolling message. I'll show you how to do that in the next part of this video. Here we go. In this part of the video I will show you some screenshots of how to navigate the passport setup. If you have any doubt about this process, have a Gilbarco technician make the changes. Here's how it's done. Log into the passport terminal. Go to the touch screen. Go to the operator login menu and give it the username and password. Enter setup with the icon circled in the image at right. In this new window, select the register icon circled here on the right. In this new window, select the register group maintenance icon circled here. In this new window, select the register group change icon circled on the right. In the new window, select the customer display tab. In this window, turn off the scrolling message by removing the checkbox next to the text which says, Message on the customer display should scroll during idle times. Finally, lock in the changes with the save icon on the right. It's that simple. Now we should be all set up. Let's see that transaction again. Alright, you get the item description quantity and price. Remember, I am simulating the passport terminal with a computer. In a real transaction, the pacing of the text is a little different, but this gives you the idea. Imagine how text insertion will help you prevent loss. On the passport terminal, it's quite simple to install. All you need to provide is a long Ethernet cable to run from the passport terminal to your digital video recorder and our kit. We would love sample video of your text inserter in action when you install it. Give us feedback on this video or call us with questions at 866-543-8398. Visit our webpage at www.vrxinc.com. Look for the Kits page link and then Passport to find written setup notes for the Passport Terminal and the install sheet for the Kit VR2004 Passport. We hope our products are knowledgeable salespersons and this video lead you to loss prevention success.